My name is Trip Adler. I am the co-founder and CEO of Scribd. I'd say my, my first um, entrepreneurial thoughts were when I was at um, Harvard and I pretty randomly had this idea for a ride-sharing service. It was supposed to be um, based on cell phones and locations and automatic payments through your cell phones, almost like a peer-to-peer -peer version of what Uber is today. Two of us started working on this concept. We applied to Y Combinator, and when we showed up to Y Combinator, we met Paul Graham, and he basically just told us it was a terrible idea. So we were clearly about 10 years too early, because you couldn't do any of that on cell phones back then. Um, so Paul said, do you have any other ideas? There was uh, an idea that I had had about like three days earlier before the interview, which was to do Craigslist for colleges. So I said, Craigslist for colleges, and Paul said, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> so at that moment, we decided to pivot the company and start working on Craigslist for colleges. We built that site through Y Combinator. Uh, we called it Hulist because we were at Harvard, and we we launched it at at Harvard the following year. It was it was a moderate success at Harvard, but we realized that to grow it to another school was going to be really difficult. We needed something that was going to be more viral and, and grow more organically. So we decided to pivot the company again. We decided to build a viral email tool that will help advertise get messages to spread virally through email um, and we called this Moobub. We actually built Moobub. Um, I emailed a bunch of my friends, told them to try Moobub and none of them forwarded along the email so we decided that was a bad idea. Eventually after a lot of trial and error and learning we um, started working something that started to resemble what Scribd is today. It started out when I was talking to my dad who's a neurosurgeon at Stanford and he had a medical paper that he wanted to publish and in medical publishing it takes about 18 months to get a paper published and he just wanted to get this paper out there and get it in front of his colleagues. So we decided to start a site that would um, allow him to really easily take this paper and put it online and that was just really the beginning of the idea. Pretty soon we decided to expand it to all kinds of written content. So not just medical papers but you know our school papers and creative writing and books and legal documents, any kind of written content. We took all these ideas we had, start, started with this idea of medical publishing, packaged it together into something, and we launched it in March 6th, 2007, that we at the time called the YouTube for Documents, and um, it pretty much just took off overnight. So unlike our past ideas, which all kind of flopped or stumbled a little bit, this one became one of the top 1,500 websites on the internet in the first 24 hours with about 90 million monthly users. Scribd is about helping make information available to the whole world. As the internet changes, as our company evolves, we continue to expand and I guess you could say pivot the vision as appropriate.